Good afternoon, guys. Um, this is your first experience with a uh, video in Canvas to do your lessons, and I hope you like it. Uh, ne next year, uh, when you uh, take Math 1, you will uh, be doing several of your lessons, many of your lessons uh, this, this way. So um, this is kind of a, uh, you know, a practice to get ready for next year, I guess you would say. So uh, for our new unit, um, Unit six, we're going to be talking about probability. We're going to spend just a couple of days on this. Okay, you do have a guided note sheet. And as we, I go through the lesson today via the video, you're going to take notes on your guided note sheets. And if you need to pause the video at any time, uh, please do so. Uh, you know, you need to be making sure that you're getting all this information in your notes because you are responsible for having it. Uh, and then, of course, you can go and rewatch the video at home as well if you'd like to review. So, uh, probability. What are my chances? So what is probability? Okay, we're just gonna do an introduction today. And uh, by the end of the class today, you should be able to find the probability of a single event. You will understand the difference between uh, a, a probability that we call impossible, one that's certain or likely chance of happening. Um, you know, because uh, sometimes, uh, you know, there's no chance that, uh, that uh, so an event will occur and then sometimes it's certain that it will occur. So we'll talk about that and actually put numbers to that. Uh, and then you're going to uh, use the fact that the sum of an event not occurring and, and occur occurring is equal to 1. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's look at our definition. So probability is defined as the measure of the likelihood of an event or outcome. Make sure that's in your notes. Okay, so another way of saying it is, you know, what's the chance of something happening? When any time we talk about chance, we're, we're talking about probability, all right? What's the chance of something to happen? And you can see from the diagram here, you can see that some things um, have no chance or impossible to happen. Some things there's an even chance, such as if you flip a coin, you have uh, an even chance of it landing on heads or tails, right? And then some things are certain to happen, such as the sun will rise. So, um... In your notes, write down that probability is about the certainty or the uncertainty prediction of something's going to happen. Some events are impossible, others are certain, while some are possible but not certain to occur. All right, let's list some examples of those things. Go ahead and take a moment by yourself and think about some um, things that you could rep that might represent uh, something that's impossible to happen or impossible to occur versus something that is certain to occur, 100% chance this is going to happen, or possible but not certain. Okay, just take a moment and write down a few things there. Okay. Throw out some ideas there. Uh, see what you have. You don't have to change yours. Um, I'm just going to throw out a couple of ideas of my own. Something that would be impossible would be um, rolling a die. Okay. Or rolling a dice, I guess you would say, because that's singular. So we'll roll a dice. Okay. And. Um, getting a eight, okay? Obviously that's not gonna happen because the dice only has six numbers on it, right? So that's something that's impossible, it's not gonna happen. Um, something that's certain to happen, maybe something that's certain to happen would be um, tossing a coin and getting Heads or tails, because I'm, oops, come back. I'm guaranteed to get one of those two things to happen, right? I'm either going to get heads or tails, so that's certain to happen. Something that's possible but not certain, maybe that's uh, rolling a die and getting uh, a prime number. Hmm. Okay, it can happen, right? I could roll a die and get land on three. That's a prime number, but it's not certain to happen, okay? So hopefully you have some examples listed there as well, okay? Uh, let's move on and let's talk about 
uh, how we calculate probability. So probability uh, is basically a ratio um, of the, the uh, event first over the number of outcomes, okay? Now, another way of saying that is the ratio of a specific event to all possible events. Make sure that's in your notes. The ratio of a specific event to all possible events. I could write it as these fractions here, put this in your notes, uh, the number of actual events compared to the number of possible, the total always goes on the bottom, or instead of the word events, we may use think of it in terms of outcomes, the number of favorable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. Either of those is an appropriate a way to look at probability, okay? So probability is going to give us a number answer. Now that number answer is going to fall into one of three categories. If the event is certain to occur, such as the one that I put over uh, the slide previously that said that, you know, it's going to land on either heads or tails. That's 100% that it's going to happen. So the probability of that is certain, so that answer would be one, because I have two chances out of two outcomes that my coin is going to land on either heads or tails. Okay? So that would be a probability value of one. If the event is impossible, that means the probability value is zero. I have zero chances out of six that when I roll a die, I'm going to get the number eight. Zero chances out of six. Okay, so if I write that down, just as a reference, uh, that would be zero chances out of six that I'm going to get an eight, so that was why that probability is zero. This one up above would be two chances, two chances, heads or tails, that I'm going to get, um, you know, a head or a tail. So that would be, that's why that has a probability of one. Okay. Now, the probability that an event is possible is going to fall somewhere in between. So most of our answers will fall somewhere in between 0 and 1. Okay, and we're going to practice some of that. Okay? All right. Um, let's do an example here for, for you. So let's take the following scenario. So if there's an experiment and we have a bag containing 10 cards, each card is numbered differently from 1 to 10. In each trial, we'll reach into the bag and pull out exactly one card. Look at it and then return it to the bag. All right, so let's talk about some probabilities here. What's the probability of choosing a seven? So I'm gonna write my probability as a ratio. It's always a ratio. Well, how many different possible outcomes are there? Well, since there are 10 cards numbered one through 10, there are 10 total or possible outcomes. Now, what's the probability of me choosing a seven? Now, it's not 7 out of 10. No, 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 no. You think, how many cards in the bag are labeled with the number 7? Only one. So there's one chance out of 10 that I will reach into the bag and choose out a card with 7. There's also one chance out of 10 that I'll reach into the bag and pull out a card with the number 3 on it. There's one chance out of 10 that I'll reach into the bag and pull out a card with a 5 on it because each card is numbered differently with the numbers 1 through 10. So there's one of each of those in the back, okay? Let's look at a different question. What's the probability of choosing an even number card? Well, let's think about it. I still have 10 total cards in the bag, right? This is the total, all right? Now, how many chances do I have of getting an even number? Well, let's see. How many even numbers are in the back? One is not even. So two is in the bag, four, five, no, six, eight, and 10. All, I have cards labeled 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 in the bag, and those are all even numbers. So how many numbers is that? That's five chances out of 10. Okay, so you have five chances out of 10 of getting an even number. Now, probabilities, uh, most all the times will reduce it. So I have one half chance, okay? Or half of the time when I reach into the bag, theoretically, I would pull out an even number. What's the other half going to be? An odd number, yeah, okay? All right, look at number three. What's the probability of choosing a card numbered one through 10? Well, all the cards are numbered one through 10, right? So I have 10 chances of me getting a number out of 10 total outcomes, right? So that probability is one. In other words, 100% of the time, I'm going to reach into that bag and pull out a card, and it's going to have a number 1 through 10 on it. That's guaranteed to happen. That is a certain probability, okay? Now, um, one other thing I do want to mention 
is that uh, when you're finding probability in an event, sometimes you can self-check because the sum of the probability of an event happening and the probability of an event not happening, so the sum of, the, of an event happening and not happening is always equal to 1. For example, um, if I do um, the, me tossing a coin and it landed on heads, right? Well, one chance out of two that it's going to land on heads, okay? But I also have one chance out of two that it's not going to land on heads, okay? And together that equals one. So the chances that it will and will not should add up to one. Or let's do another one. Um, if we do a number cube or dice, numbered one through six, right? The chances that it lands on a two. Well, one chance out of six that that number cube is going to land on two. How many chances that it won't land on a 2? Well, all the other numbers, which would be 5 numbers out of 6. When I add those two probabilities together, we get 6 out of 6, which is 1 whole. Okay? So this is the chance of it landing on 2. This is not the chance of it landing on 2. And together, those should add up to 1 whole. Okay? Or 100%. Okay? All right. Now, here's what I want you to do next. Okay, I'm going to uh, talk just a minute about uh, the cards that, because some of your practice problems today are going to ask you about drawing, um, the probability of drawing certain cards from a standard deck of cards. And I'm finding, okay, with students these days, okay, if you don't play cards like you used to, so I want to make sure we all have the same impression of what a standard deck of cards is, all right? So I put a little box at the bottom of your paper where you can uh, jot this down because you will need to know this information to determine the probability. All right, so just make a note of this. The standard deck of cards has 52 cards. You've heard of 52 card pickup, right? Right. Now, suits. When I talk about suits, that's like your hearts and your, I can't draw spades, and diamonds and the puppy dog or clover feet, right? I forget what the spade looks like, but anyways. anyway. Um, so you've got four suits, okay? That's your hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. Now, the number of cards per suit. Well, let's think about this. If we take 52 cards and divide it by four suits, there's 13 cards per suit. 13 cards per suit. Now, that does not mean that the, the cards are numbered 1 through 13. The cards are actually only numbered 2 through 10. There is no 1, okay? There's like a two of hearts and a two of clubs and a two of diamonds and a two of spades. There's a five of hearts and a five of clubs and whatnot, okay? So the cards are number two through ten. You may say, well, that's not 13 cards. No, it's not, okay? That's nine cards, okay? There are four face cards per suit. Now, when I say face cards, what I'm talking about here is there is a jack, which is sometimes referred to as an 11, right? A queen. Uh, king, no, the ace, I think, is sometimes referred to as the 11, okay? So there's jack, queen, king, and ace per suit as well, okay? So that would give you your total of uh, 13 cards per suit times four suits would give you your 52 total cards, all right? So you're going to need some basic knowledge about how cards work in order to answer some of your practice problems today, okay? All right, now... What you're going to do next for me is, on your handout, I've given you some more practice problems, but I want you to do them a little differently. I want you to go to a website, and that website is listed below here. You could type that in your web browser, or you could close the video and click the link that I've provided on your Canvas page. I provided this link for you, okay? And when you go to that website, it's going to give you the rest of your example problems that, I've typed, that I have typed on your sheet. And this is just an easy way for you to check and make sure you're doing them right. Make sure you write your answers on your handout for your notes, but use this website to kind of check your answers as you uh, go through these problems, okay? After those problems are, are done, then I would like you to complete your assignment, which is Worksheet 513, and you can come get that at the front of the classroom when your notes and examples are all completed, okay? Tomorrow we will check the handout together in class, so have that ready. And uh, feel free to watch the video as many times as you need. It will be, remain on Canvas throughout the unit. Okay? You guys have a great day.